welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. We're back with the new update. I did promise I would come back when the new update's out. I have no idea what the new update is, but we're going to have a look into that today and see what we have. I haven't tidied up what we had left over and I will do that my own time because I'm not going to spend more time today just going over old stuff. Remember, if you do like the video, give it a like and subscribe for more content just like this. And yeah, let's go and see what the new update has for us. Everybody get your cups of tea. A snack. I feel like we're going to be here for a while. So, let's look at the star path. A wonder of Pixar. It's time to celebrate everything Pixar in the, in the brand new star path. Um, okay, duties, move night thorns. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Well, these are cute. Oh, the couch is there. I really want that couch. Oh, what's that from? That's from, um, oh, what's that movie? Oh, oh. Panda. Turning red. What a good movie. Is that a fish tank? Oh my god, how cute. Okay, they did really good with this update. Stop, I need that, but it's premium. Of course it's premium. Okay, we've got 57 days to get through this. My goal is to get this onesie. That is my goal. Right. Let's get a crack in. Oh, I am shocked. We've got new houses. Okay. Well, we won't be paying for any of these things. Oh, you can also pay for a new quest. Disney, honestly. The new rain noises are so cool. Well, I need that. That's adorable. It's like ASMR. That's nice windows. Don't know if it's worth that much though. Mm, is it? Mm, no. Not right now. Is that little socks? Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> This makes me feel not well. Okay, so I need to search houses. Let's do that just now. Okay, there's none in here. I also really need to have like a clean up day at some point. I'm guessing it's going to be in Mickey's house. If they're not in Mickey's house, then I'm going to- oh, there we go. I was going to say, they've got to be in Mickey's house, surely. Why is there a weed in here? I probably left that here. <laughs> and minis. Not in here. We'll definitely be in here. Yep. Oh, hey, hold on. She's so friendly, like a warm hug. I can't wait for this game in like autumn winter time like at christmas time oh my god it's just one of those like cozy games that i don't know it's just like it's nice um right where can i go now let's go down to the beach check the beach houses Oh yeah, I also need to clear night thorns to get my dream light duties done.
love it. I don't think they could have been here, but worth a check. What is that? That was weird. Blue potato. Another. What's going on with all these different potatoes? Shrimp. I just want a stinky little fugu. Is that so hard? Ariel, please. Please, no. I'm so glad. Um, I'm not because I can't catch a fugu. A memory? <gasps> a memory? Is that right, Tui? Yeah. I stopped raining, so I don't know why I'm still trying. Hey, alien. Right, so we've got ten more to get. This valley is pretty great. Mm. You're right, you're right. I've actually not been in Mother Gothel's house in a very long time. I can see why. There's nothing in it. Not even an alien. An alien an alien an alien. <laughs> I've done these ones. So there can only be wasn't in this, wasn't in this. I didn't check these two today. Right, let's check the plaza again. These full meadows even. Also left stuff in here. Right. Alien. So really there should be an alien in everyone's house. So why am I not seeing them? Goofy. Alien. This place is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> I also can't see any moonstones. Need some moonstones. Hello, I'm just looking for an alien. I don't think you have any. Also, this music, is this music not in Zoo Tycoon as well, am I, am I imagining that? No aliens? No. Mm -hmm. 
Now that you're here, perhaps together we can solve a problem. Oh, but let me get one look more look at you. It's been far too long, my dear. It really is you, isn't it? And not that that shadow of yours. Shadow of me? Are you talking about the forgotten? Yes, but now I'm certain that it's you. What a relief. You see, I've been trying to solve a magical conundrum the forgotten left behind. Long ago, the Forgotten stole the Orb of Remembrance and hid it, along with some lost memories in the dreamscape. <laughs> what is the dreamscape? You may not know its name, but you've been there before, nearly every time you've closed your eyes. Dreamscape is a place between dreams and the, wa the waking world. The rules there, while well, they're a bit out of order. And it's a fine place for hiding things, such as an orb, or perhaps memories you'd rather forget. <laughs> You mean you've been in this pumpkin house the whole time trying to figure it out on your own? Oh, no. The forgotten is hidden the door to the dreamscape behind a powerful illusion, and no matter what I do, I can't seem to lift it. But now you're here, your magic, it's just like the forgotten's. Perhaps if we combined our magic together. Now, before the night thorns parted me from the rest of the village, I managed to grab a handful of spell books. One enchantment seat. One enchantment seems to hold the most mm. promise. Would you be a deer and gather some purified night shards for it? Ah. Now off you go. Of course. Um. Anyway, I do need to clear some of the night thorns, so I'll do that. Purified night shards. Purified night shards. How do you make those? There we go. How many? Five. Okay. And then give them to the fairy godmother. I might change actually. I don't want a mustache. Oh dear. I don't want to put on a mat. I've heard that if you put a moustache on you, you can't get it back off. Wonderful. But let's go see the fairy godmother first, who is here. Okay. <laughs> like, come along and don't be slow to edit. To the dreamscape, we must go. Ah. The dreamscape reflects what you hold in your mind. Now then, meet me at the mountain in the middle of the Forgotten no, Land. You See go. you soon. I feel like... I love that. Now off you go, boobity bobbity boop. <laughs> the way she runs, look at her, it's so funny. Here we are. The gateway between Dreamlight Valley and the Dreamscape. Inside we'll find the place between waking life and this realm, the realm of dreams. Then just our eyes. Focus your magic, soon all will be unveiled. The forgotten illusion must be... Dispel, dreamscape, reveal yourself. You oh, because do you know how we were all like thinking that this was going to be down by Mother Gothel's house because there's a bit above? This is what we all thought it was, but it's not, it's completely different. Here we are. Peculiar, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's as though we've travelled a long way and as if we've done nothing more than close our eyes. 
The dreamscape built this out of pure imagination to help the forgotten protect something very important, the orb of remembrance. It's on that pedestal in the centre of the room, but I'm afraid it, its power has grown dim. If we were to restore it, we must find the memories the forgotten has scattered. So how do we do that? Well, each memory holds some whisper of the virtues that have been forgotten, and many are already here to be found. Just gather the memories you see all around. Okay, memory of power. Memory of courage. And memory of love. up all the memories but there are some pieces missing hmm yes these memories why they're just pieces of something larger than the forgotten meant to hide i'm afraid the forgotten has hidden something here much deeper if we're to uncover it well it won't be as simple as finding the memories i'm afraid you'll have to live the forgotten's lost memories yourself i need to become the forgotten yes but just in a sense the dreamscape only has the power to show so how do i do this how do i live out the forgotten's mm -hmm. memories the dreamscape always finds a way. Follow me and don't delay. In that place, you'll be forgotten. You'll be the forgotten. You'll see and hear what they saw and heard, but more than that, you'll feel what they've the forgotten felt. When you're ready, step through the gates and see what sealed the f yeah. Forgotten's fate. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm the Forgotten now and I have a moustache. Fantastic. Un uncover the Forgotten's first lost memory in the dreamscape. See what Mickey wants this time. To be fair, Mickey is very demanding. <laughs> Teenage angst. <laughs> Nobody understands me. I I just no, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Why can't I ever see how I feel? Ugh. You sure everything's okay, pal? It's fine, I'm okay, I'm great, I'm amazing. What's the point? Nobody would get it anyway. Well, all right, but if you ever need to talk, I'm always around. What did you want to talk to me about anyway? <laughs> oh, right, I almost forgot. I noticed that there's all sorts of new flowers growing around the valley, and I wanted to make a big bouquet for Minnie to show her just how special she is. I thought maybe you could help because, well, you're the best in the whole valley at picking out nice flowers. Sure, fine, I'll pick you some flowers. I'll probably screw that up too. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks, pal, and hey, just remember, I'm always here to talk. Uncover the Forgotten's first lost memory of dreamscape. Pick some ugly flowers to make some kind of bouquet. Uh, whatever. Oh, that's so funny. This is what the ballet used to look like before I decorated it. How funny. Can I? Is it flower over there? Oh, there we go. What is that? Pretty. 
craft a hideous bouquet at the crafting station near Goofy's house. Um. Am I glad to see you? Oh wait, do I not need to? Because you have to do everything around here. <laughs> That's funny. It's true, we do need to do everything. I'm so glad you came by. It's a gift from Mickey. A bouquet. Oh, it's it's so original. <laughs> did Mickey make it? No, I did. How kind of you. I'm very grateful, but before you go, I wanted to make sure that everything is alright. You haven't seen quite yourself lately. I'm fine. That's good to hear, and thank you for the flowers. It was a lovely gesture. I'll go find a vase for them right away. They look like they just need a little love and care, like all of us sometimes. I don't think that's going to help. Goodbye! And return to Mickey. Did you have any luck finding some nice flowers? I found some uh, nice flowers, made a bouquet, gave it to Minnie. <laughs> you did, thanks pal, but uh, you didn't have to do all of that on your own. Oh. You could have just given them to me and I would have taken care of the rest. Or even better, we could have made it together. Well, it's done, so whatever, I guess. If that's okay pal, I'll just go and see how many liked them. Thanks again. Oh, uh, say, I think Goofy's looking for you. Maybe you could go find him. So long for now. now Goofy wants something. <sighs> Better go speak to him too. Hi there, pal. You know, I was just thinking, I can't remember the last time we shared a yummy meal together. I'm not really hungry. Yeah, I can't remember either. Oh. Well, I just fished up the juiciest shrimp I've ever seen. How about if I gave you that and maybe you could go around the rest of... You can round up the rest of the ingredients and we'll make some bullapas. I can't say that. Okay. What else do I need? Long. Rotten carrot. Oh, the rotten clam was over there, wasn't it? That's what that was. Got the rotten clams. Where's the rest? Tomato. are like part of this um I can't find any of other things I really do suck I just need a rotten carrot Right, cook a nasty meal. <laughs> oh, that sees. Why can't I cook it? Oh, I need the shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Hey there. 
You cook this whole meal yourself? Well, thanks. I was hoping we could cook it together. That's okay. At least we can share it together, right? I'm not hungry. You okay, pal? Like anyone would understand, even if I could explain it to them. I'm fine. Oh, uh, alright then, but you know, I'm always here if you need me. I'm going to dig into this meal you cooked for me. I can't wait to try it. Smells kind of interesting. Maybe I'll just uh, save it for later. Must be one of those dishes that gets buried after it sits for a bit. So yeah, I think Minnie was looking for you. You might want to go see what she wants. See you later. Minnie wants to talk to you again. You want something? Oh yes, I do. Ugh, what's it going to be this time? I just wanted to tell you that you're loved. Of course, everyone here cares about you. You mustn't be afraid to let your friends know how you feel, even if you might feel a little silly doing it. Something is wrong. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thanks for the talk. Okay, we got one. Okay, so we have the memory of friendship. It was so strange. I felt everything the forgotten must have felt. The forgotten... It just seemed like a very teenager to me. I hope that's not what I was like when I was younger. Oh. Well, the forgotten... Is a part of you, dear. Hmm. I fear that the key to stopping the forgotten lies in another of these memories. Mm -hmm. But do you feel at least that you understood the forgotten a bit better now? Yes. The forgotten never asked to be stuck here. If I felt that lonely and frustrated, I guess I might do some of the things the forgotten has done. Many would, but just because we can understand the forgotten doesn't mean we must agree with the path they walked down. Let's hope that the next memory holds the key to finding the forgotten and, and helping them. Now, follow me. There's so much more to here to see. Okay. Goodness me, some very strong emotions are coming from the next archway. Whatever the forgotten is trying to hide, there's quite a lot of anger and betrayal inside. I must pass through. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now pass through the gate and discover what led the forgotten to lose their trusting spirit. That didn't rhyme and that upset me. <laughs> Step through the second gate and the dreams get to discover. Done that. Mother Gothel wants something. I guess you should talk to her. What a pleasure. Just who I was hoping to see, darling, tell me you've noticed all those ugly night thorns sprouting around the valley and how some of the villagers are starting to lose uh. their memories. Merlin hasn't the faintest clue what might be causing it, but don't worry, I won't tell him it's all your fault. <laughs> My fault? Well, of course it is. The village clearly reflects you, your dreams, your desires, your fears, and we've all noticed that you haven't been yourself lately. What? No, I'm fine. You mustn't lie to Mother Gothel. You uh. know how I hate that. But don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. You're simply... You're finally seeing the world for the cruel and dangerous place it is. I always am. Now trust me, after all, we must look out for ourselves. In fact, follow me. You've much to learn. Now you're always known to listen to Mother. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Oh, hello, dear. Now pay attention, dear. These pillars have been here for as long as anyone in the village can remember. <laughs> if you asked Merlin, he'd tell you they symbolise the virtues that hold the village together and protect it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, how that man loves to hear himself talk. Oh. Don't insult Merlin. What a pity, you still insist on defending Merlin even though he's done nothing but lie to you. Huh? What do you mean? Merlin told you that these pillars protect the village, but they don't. They only prevent brilliant people from, like us from reaching our full potential. 
everything he's told you about light and dark magic, friendship, trust, and so on. Nothing more than lies to keep you under his control. I don't believe you. Well, there's one way to find out for sure. Rip the orb out of the pillar, then you'll see that, that what I'm saying is true. And we're done talking about this. Shoo! The orb, darling, you've done it, and not to worry, I'll dispose of it safely. Mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. Now see, doesn't everything feel better without that pesky pillar getting in the way? Something feels wrong. Wrong? Oh, don't be a fool, you've gotten far too used to the way things are. You'll understand soon enough. I can't wait to show you how much grander life can be when you aren't forced to live under Merlin's rules. But first, you'll have to do me one itsy bitsy favour. Oh, I do love how obliging you are. You really should show the side of yourself more often. Now to the task at hand. I'm devastated that I've lost one of my most prized, my most prized possessions, a jewel encrusted mirror. I was admiring myself when I simply dropped it in the water somehow around here. How clumsy of me. Don't you trust me, after all I've done for you? Of course I do, it's just perfect, then you'll have no more questions or objections. Finding my jewel encrusted mirror will be no trouble for you. Simply use the fishing rod of, rod of yours in the waters in the area. I'll be waiting for you near the giant willow, not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> I'm just teasing, darling, see you soon. Okay. Getting good. So bad at fishing. I don't think that's what I was meant to get. God. How am I meant to get that? Oh. This has got to be it, surely. Mirror is nothing but junk. Return to Mother Gotha near the giant willow and give her a piece of your mind. I sure will. This mirror is a piece of junk. <laughs> of course it is, darling. Did you really think I would ever drop something of value? I oh, don't look so upset. You must stop taking everything so seriously. Now, shall I tell you my plan? You see, I've always wondered if that dreamlight magic of yours might work like Rapunzel's magic hair. So I borrowed a little book from Merlin, traded for a few potions and ingredients from <laughs> Ursula, and now that magic of the orb is gone. There's nothing to stop me from throwing it all together to keep you safe in the giant willow forever. It's for your own good, dear. The world outside is far too dangerous. Trust me, it's better this way. You'll see in time that I can be a very loving mother. Oh, she is going to put me up at the top. <gasps> oh my god. Well, the fairy godmother, I'm a little bit traumatised, I won't lie. Just a little bit. Goodness, what did you find in the forgotten second memory? 
You look as if you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost, just a gothel. They forgot and trusted her and she, she tried to do something horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. When we feel alone, that's often when we're most vulnerable. Now, I don't know if this brings us any closer to saving the valley, but perhaps now you understand they've forgotten a bit better. The forgotten pain is becoming so real to me. How could the forgotten ever trust anyone again after what Mother Gothel did? Once all this is over, I'm going to need to have a little talk with her. Trust is fragile, dear. We must be aware. Once broken, it's difficult to repair. Now then, I'm afraid we still don't have all the answers we need. But perhaps we'll find them through this final gate. Follow me. The <laughs> she runs is so funny. Uh -huh. Listen closely. Ah. Beyond the last gateway, you'll find the, la the final lost memory of the forgotten. Whatever happened here, it changed them into what they are now. The forgotten was a part of me. I know I can fix all of this. I just don't know how yet. That may be true, but don't lose faith. I believe in you. Now collect yourself, dear. You mustn't wait. Go boldly forward and step through the gates. And if it gets a bit too much, just know that I will be right here waiting. Ah, at last. You're the only one here who's not a complete fool. I'm not falling for it, Scar. Oh, you wound me. My intentions are honourable, I promise. Now then, I have a small question to ask you. It seems to me that those of us who are wise, strong and cunning should take up the mantle of leadership. Yes, I agree. Fortunately, there's one minor inconvenience stopping us from assuming power. It's that, that monstrosity there near the end of the river. You mean, the pillar and the orb of nurturing? Precisely. The windbag with the white mane spends hours examining it. Place acting as if he's trying to understand his power but I'm certain it's there to watch over us to keep us in our place as it were I I guess we could tear the orb out like I tore the one in the glade of trust precisely and that's just what I've tried but it seems to feed off the nature around it if only someone could injure the flora and fauna temporarily of course perhaps you'd be able to destroy it is he trying to trick me like mother Gothel did I can't trust him but I can't trust Merlin either. I'll do it. I'll get that orb out of the pillar. I don't like this. So I need to plant Nightthorn seeds near the giant dreamlight tree what is the dreamlight tree i'm guessing it's this one near the pillar of nurturing well i can do that And then the main entrance. Discover the orb of nurturing near the pillar. Return to Scar. 
Oh. Now just give that pesky thing to me, the herb of nurturing. What would you want with that? Oh, only for safekeeping, of course. I may not understand exactly what it is, but I know something powerful and dangerous when I see it. He is tricking me. He's tricking me just like Mother Gothel did. I know exactly what you're trying to do and I'm not going to fall for it. Oh dear, temper. Can't you see what you've done already? Done exactly what I wanted? Look at everything you've broken. The other villagers will never forgive you for this. Ah. Oh, do try to keep your emotions in check. You've. I can easily fix this for you. Simply let me rule the Dreamlight Valley. It will be an immense burden, but I'll prepare to make the sacrifice. Besides, it's really your only choice. Make me king and stand at my side. Or run away and never return. You'll never be King Scar. I'll make sure of that. Uh. If you come to your senses, I'll be in my cave. This is intense. Oh, I don't want to speak to Merle. He's going to shout at me. Well, I was looking for Scar, but never mind that. You and I are long past you for a chat. Oh, to yell at me. Yell at you? Why would I? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not angry. I'm, well, I'm rather worried. Of course, I'm concerned about all that's going on with the village, but it's you I'm most worried about. Well, you don't have to worry because I've run away. I've run away and never returned. <laughs> so dramatic. Please, let me explain. You, well, you don't even have to listen, but if you don't care to. <laughs> now then, it's only natural that as you mature there will be parts of yourself you question and things oh. you wish to leave behind. But there are some things you must never lose faith in. Friendship, love, acts of care for one another. They're the most powerful magic of all. And they're the greatest forces in Dreamlight Valley, or, well, anywhere. They don't feel very powerful. Uh, I see. Sometimes when we feel cut off from love, from friendship, it might appear that way. But impressions can be misleading. We all care deeply about you, I promise. Love and friendship are always here for you when you're in need of them. You'll never understand. Perhaps not, but I'll never stop my pursuit of knowledge or trying to aid you. Be careful of the path you're walking down. Some things won't... Th some things must never be forgotten. Some things must be forgotten. Ooh. So dense. Okay. Scar tricked the Forgotten into helping the night thorns spread, and then Merlin showed up. Merlin warned the Forgotten not to lose faith in love, friendship, and grow, and the power of small acts of care. But it was too late. The Forgotten was too far gone. We mustn't give up. Merlin may have planted a seed in the Forgotten's mind. Perhaps it just needs a little watering. In the final memory, it looked like the Forgotten ran away to a castle. I've seen that castle before. There's another side of the Dreamlight Valley, a shadowy side. You can get you can get there through portals. Of course, if you're ever to save the Forgotten, you must venture through to the Forgotten's home and face them there. But how to get there? Perhaps it's time to I consult with Merlin. <laughs> oh, before I depart, now that the Forgotten's memories are recovered, the orb of remembrance is repaired. Be a dear and return it to the Pillar of Forgotten Lands. While I seek out Merlin. Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. soon. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Oh no. You put on a big show, but I can tell you're scared. If you really felt like you were so strong, then you wouldn't have stayed in the shadows all this time. Whatever was happening to you, Merlin could have helped. You think I d didn't try to ask for help? After that day with Scar, no one could hear me. I was trapped in the shadows, alone, lost. It takes all my magic now just to step into the light. 
but you're here now. Let's fix all of this. Fix all of this? That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I haven't been hiding. I've been busy. Busy doing what? Do you expect me just to tell you my whole plan? Like some kind of some kind of villain at the end of a movie? I mean, you're kind of giving off that vibe. You still don't get it. I'm not the bad guy. You are. There's only one way to make sure that no one ever gets pulled to the dark side of Dreamlight Valley like I was. Only one way to make sure no one was ever no one is ever lonely again. I had to rip open the walls between worlds, between Dreamlight Valley and the other side. And now I have the last thing I was missing, the way to fuel the spell, the Orb of Remembrance. <sighs> so close. Um Okay, now what? I'm gonna leave that one there because that was a lot. Like a lot. It was really good though, like one of the best updates we've had in a very long time. I'm looking forward to the star path as well and we're going to get that onesie by the end. I've got 57 days so we're going to do it. If you did like the video remember to give it a like and subscribe for more content just like this and we'll be back next week with another episode of um, The Dream Valley. Seeing if we can get the valley repaired and our relationship with the forgotten repaired. <laughs>